Hi, I'm Jeremy with the Howard County Library System. Today we're going to be creating a magazine mosaic. Let's get started. The supplies you'll need to complete this project are glue, scissors or an X-Acto knife, heavyweight paper, a ruler, a pencil, several old magazines, and a printed reference photo. The goal of this project is to create a mosaic or collage using pieces of cut magazine as our palette and our medium. We'll then glue down those cut pieces of magazine to create an image and in our case a portrait. The portrait we'll be creating is of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, former Associate Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court from 1993 until her death in 2020. Ginsburg was the second woman to serve on the U.S. Supreme Court and spent much of her early legal career advocating for gender equality and women's rights, even winning arguments before the same court she would later preside over. The first step in creating our mosaic or collage is to take our printed reference photo and make a one inch by one inch grid over the image using our pencil and ruler. Make sure to take your time and make your grid as straight and consistent as possible. It'll help later on when it comes to transfer the image and get an accurate likeness. The second step is to crop your reference photo to the appropriate size. Try to choose a size that can be scaled up or doubled to fit your heavyweight paper. For example, if your cropped image is 5x7, you want your paper to be at least 14x10. We also want to make sure that we label the axis of our grid so that we can easily identify where features are located when it comes time to transfer our image. So you can label the axis 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You just want something that you can easily follow. Now that we have our grid drawn over our reference photo, we're going to scale up and transfer the same grid to our heavyweight paper. Remember, if the grid on your reference photo is 5 by 7 inches, this grid should be at least 10 by 14 inches. I've started by creating a half inch border so I have an edge to handle the artwork. Now I'm going to transfer the grid. Now that our grid drawn over the reference photo has been transferred to the heavyweight paper, we're going to draw another grid over the T-zone of the face on the reference photo, half the size of the original. This will help to pinpoint exactly where features and shadows are located. Once the smaller grid is drawn over the reference photo, transfer it to the heavyweight paper. Now that we have all the prep work done with our grids, we can begin drawing our image. I like to start around the center of the face and work my way out. I found that if you get the eyes and the nose to scale, everything else will fall into place. When using the grid, also try to locate where features, lines, and shadows intersect the grid on the reference photo. Then transfer those points, lines, and shapes to the heavyweight paper. By working from point to point, you can locate where features intersect the grid and then try and connect the dots by matching the shape of the line. As you're using the grid, make sure that you're utilizing it for everything it's worth and make sure that you're not just drawing the outline of features or the outlines of, you know, accessories like the glasses or the earrings or something like that make sure that you're also drawing the outline of shadows even if they're middle tones um, or highlights make sure you're identifying where they are it'll make it a lot easier when it comes time to apply the paper on top
Once you've completed transferring your image and you have a pretty good likeness, we're going to take our recycled magazines and discarded paper and start gathering pages with colors, tonal values that correspond to our reference photo. From here, I like to cut my colors into about half inch strips so that they're easily organized and ready to be cut down when I need to start gluing them. And once you have a decent amount of colors and tonal values cut up and organized, you could start creating your mosaic and collage. This part of the process is pretty straightforward. Now we're going to begin applying our magazine clippings and gluing them onto our paper, while being sure to match the tonal values that correspond to our reference photo. When I first started applying the paper, I was placing all the pieces uh, right next to each other. And I found that if I layer the pieces, they kind of blend a little bit better and it looks a little bit more organic. And crazy enough, it even starts to look a little three-dimensional as you, you know, layer more and more. So don't worry about uh, perfectly cutting pieces so that they you know fit exactly next to each other go ahead and layer them and if you need to you can use your exacto knife and trim off little areas and, and clip off little pieces Two tips I can give you for having this become a successful artwork are one, to be patient, take your time and try not to rush it. If you have to come back another day, do that. Um, it's better that than you get frustrated and you know sabotage the whole artwork. The other thing is when you're gluing down your pieces of paper, make sure that you're getting glue all the way to the edge so that that way nothing peels up um, and you don't have to come back and try and re-glue stuff in the end. 